any anything which is available in our surroundings which can satisfy the human needs is a resource any substance which can satisfy the human needs which can accomplish the human needs is known as a resource so substances a number of substances which are available on earth but not used by the humans they are not considered as a resource because such substances do not complete they they do not accomplish the needs of a humans so a substance so what conditions are there through which a substance it can become as a resource what is necessity to which we can make any of a substance into as a resource we can categorize a that substance into as a resource yes anybody anybody answer it what has makes the any of a substance into as a resource for example around 10000 years ago coal available on earth apes were early man it was unaware how to utilize the such substances to satisfy their needs to satisfy their needs so yes very good pragati technology one is a technology we need as a technology to transform the resources into the usable items first is a technology second is a second yes very good jabki said as a use pragati also use that particular substance it should be as a use by the humans there should be as a utility of a that particular substance first is a technology second is a utility third skill s k i l the technique the pattern through which we can utilize them for example presently presently we are producing as a sugar cane sugar cane has used as a raw material in a sugar industries but after the crushing of a sugar cane the remains which has appear whatever the remain remain has appear it can be utilized in a two form one is form that we can as decompose that remain of a sugar cane through which we can increase the fertility it can use as a organic manure organic manure other ways there by the burning of a that remain of a sugar cane we can generate electricity there are a thermal uh, there are a number of thermal power stations are there where burning of a coal helps the generation of electricity so by the burning of a remains of agriculture crop remains of agriculture crops means the husk that husk creates as a problem for the farmers for their management now as the that husk has utilized as a raw material in thermal power stations to generate electricity so this is as their best use best use clear and fourth one is the availability that substance it should be as available in a sufficient amount first is the technology second is the utility second is the utility third is their technique the use of their technique and fourth one is a technique or we can say as a skill skill honi chahiye and fourth one availability if we are investing if we are developing the such resources which are present in a lesser in number then it will be not profitable for the humans clear it will not profitable for humans is that clear so these substances are transformed into as a usable items for the humans and becomes as a resource they becomes as a resource so resources there are a number of resources are available on earth different number of categories of resources are there categories of resources are there different categories of resources are there for example the first category of resources are first category of resources are on the basis of a on the basis of origin on the basis of origin second is on the basis of nature on the basis of origin there are two types of resources are there resources are there biotic and abiotic biotic and abiotic resources on the basis of nature two types of resources are there man made and man made and natural natural resources natural resources 
third category is uh, on the basis of a level of development level of development on the basis of a level of development there are uh, four types of resources are there on the basis of level of development there are the four types of resources are there resources are there develop resources potential resources develop resources potential resources third are the stock and fourth are the reserves stock and reserves fourth classification of resources are known as a resources classify on the basis of renewability on the basis of renewability means their use renewability there are two types of resources are there exhaustible resources and inexhaustible resources renewable resources and non renewable resources let's we discuss about them in a detail as the beef so on the basis of origin the, their formation two types of resources are there biotic and abiotic biotic biotic resources are consisting the living beings abiotic resources are consisting the non living things not beings things biotic resources are renewed to the reproduction processes reproduction biotic resources are renewed to the reproduction like plants animals humans they are increased as the reproduction processes of a reproduction abiotic resources are renewed by the renewed by the nature these are the recyclable in nature recyclable nature has recycled them for example water has available on earth has renewed to the hydrological cycle through hydrological cycle sunlight is a never ended source of energy which will be as uh, endless in a thousands or a millions of the years next as the on the basis of a nature on the basis of a nature there are two types of the resources two types of resources are there man made resources artificial resources when humans are transforming when humans transform the natural substances into the usable items is known as the usable items is known as the man made resources or artificial resource man made or artificial resource for example paper paper that paper which has a manufacture that paper which has a manufacture from the wood pulp wood pulp wood has extract to the natural way trees are growing to the natural way when humans are use their skills technology to transform the natural substances into the usable items is known as a artificial resources or man made resources so paper is a artificial resource which has made by the humans to satisfy their need to satisfying their need which has obtained from the wood pulp in the other side natural resources are those resources which directly extract from nature resources which are directly extract from nature and utilized by humans directly utilized by humans for example for example air wind we are breathing in air air is directly used by the humans when we are use the air for generation of a wind energy it will be known as the artificial resource wind energy is a artificial resource air has used by the humans for their survival humans breathing in air is a natural resource clear it is as the natural resource land is a natural resource used by the humans for their habitation when the land has used for the extraction of a minerals extraction of minerals or either production of crops is a artificial crop artificial resources because to the human efforts human efforts humans using the natural resources to utilize for their survival to satisfying their needs clear third level third classification of resources are the level of a development means resources which are used in present resources are used in present so four categories are there four categories of resources are there potential resources potential potential resources saksham bagoria if you are here raise your hand saksham bagoria and saksham meda saksham bagoria and saksham meda 
Raise your hand, both of you. Saksham Bhagoria and Mida are capable to satisfying our needs, but not used. But we can't use at present is known as a potential resources. They can satisfy our need of energy, but presently are not utilizing are known as a potential resources. Very good, Pragati, given as a potential resources are those which are available in the region, but not fully utilized. These are not utilized. If we will utilize them to which we can satisfy our needs. Clear, Saksham? You potential resources, example, generation of a tidal energy in India. India's long coastline favorable for a production of a tidal energy by the location of a turbines on a coastal areas, we can generate electricity. We can generate electricity, but we are not generating. Reason, we are having the other substitutes. We are having the enough number of hydroelectricity power plants, means dams. Dams are there, thermal power stations are there, nuclear power stations are there, solar panels are working here. Then why do we have need to uh, invest in a tidal energy? Potential is there, but we are not presently utilizing it. Clear? They are the potential resources. Developed resources are those resources which are used at present for satisfying our needs. Hydroelectricity. Resources are used at present is known as developed. Third category is the stock resources. Resources which are available in our nature whose quantity and quality is unknown. The quantity and quality of resources are known by us. But quantity and quality of resources are known by us, but they are limitedly used at present. In future, it can be as use in increase. Their use can increase. For example, solar energy. Solar energy, which is available in India as an abundance due to the tropical conditions. Tropical conditions of India favorable for a generation of a solar energy, but minimum use at present. Presently, the solar panels are concentrated in a limited parts of a country, but the changes are beginning. Changes means now the solar, they will be as a vehicles. There are the vehicles, now the modifications in a vehicles are begin through which the Modifications are begins to which as the solar vehicles, they will start to work. Solar vehicles, they will start to work in future. So number of the vehicles, for example, e-rikshas. e-rikshas This is as a modification. Due to as a limited number of a crude oil, petroleum, diesel, their modifications are begins. Now we are moving towards a such number of resources which are available in abundance. We can generate the electricity with the help of our water, geothermal energy, tidal energy, solar energy, nuclear energy, thermal energy, burning of our substances. So this is as a vast scope in India. So we are now as minimizing the use of a petrol, diesel and a coal, and which has replaced with the electricity. That has replaced with the electricity. The best example is the electrified railways. Earlier, the railways, these were, uh, uh, these were drive to as the coal, with the help of coal. But the most, all the railways in India now as works to the, they are works to as the electrified. All the railways are electrified. Clear? These are the stock resources, limited in present, but in future, their use can increase. Fourth type of a level of development, resources are the reserves. Resources which are available in a country, but we are not utilizing at present. We are not utilizing. Why? Because we are saving for future. Certain number of resources are saving for the future. Clear? Their best example is a thorium, which has extract from the coastal parts of a Kerala. Thorium is a nuclear substance, which has used in a nuclear reactors for generation of electricity. Clear? generation of electricity. In India, uranium is also found in a parts of Rajasthan and Jharkhand, but we are not extracting. In all the 11, thermal, uh, 11 nuclear power stations, we use a uranium purchased from the America. 
we are saving for a future. Why? Because if we start to utilize our resources, our uranium and thorium at present, then after 30, 40 years, it will be as a finish. Clear? Our country, it can't sustain. For the regularized level of a development in our country, we are saving the certain number of resources. India imported theirs 80 percentage of a petroleum products, crude oil from a Gulf countries. Crude oil, kacha tel jo hota jisme se oil, petroleum and diesel are extract. It has imported by the India from a Gulf countries, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan. These countries, these are ex, uh, exporting their crude oil towards India, and India has exporting their food grains towards Asia, towards the Gulf countries. Clear? Because agri India having as a agriculture based economy and the Gulf countries are known for their oil products. So we are saving our crude oil for a future. Crude oil has extracted in India from the Bombay High. Bombay High, second as an Ankleshwar in Gujarat and third is a Digboy. But we are saving for a future. When a crude oil, it will be as a vanish, it will finish from the parts of a Gulf countries, then we will start as a exploiting our resources, utilizing our resources. It means regularized development. Whatever the level of development at present in India, it can as maintain for the future to the saving the resources for the future. Clear? This is as a third categorization of resources on the basis of a level of development. Fourth categorization of resources on the basis of exhaustibility or renewability exhaustibility or renewability. There are two types of resources are there, exhaustible resources and inexhaustible resources. Exhaustible resources, exhaust means those resources which are finished after their use. Resources are finished after their single use are known as exhaustible resources. And those resources which are not finished after their use from the earth, these are known as inexhaustible resources. Exhaustible resources are also known as the non-renewable. Exhaustible resources are non-renewable. Why? Because we can't use them again and again. We can't use the exhaustible resources or non-renewable resources again and again. But whereas the inexhaustible resources or renewable resources, we can use again and again. Clear? Exhaustible resources are also known as a conventional resources. Conventional resources, those number of resources of energy used by the humans from an old historical background are known as conventional resources. By the humans from an age old historical background to satisfying their needs of energy are known as a conventional resources. Clear? They are also known as a exhaustible resources. But in non-conventional resources, non-conventional resources are also known as the inexhaustible, non-conventional resources which are utilized by the humans in recent to satisfy their needs of energy. To satisfying their needs of energy is known as the non-conventional resources. Resources utilized by the humans in a recent around 200 to 300 years back. Clear? Third difference. Fourth difference. Exhaustible resources cause the pollution. Exhaustible resources cause pollution, whereas an inexhaustible resources are eco-friendly. Inexhaustible resources are eco-friendly. By the use of our sunlight, it do not pollute environment. Clear? Fourth difference. Fifth difference. Exhaustible resources are unevenly distributed over the earth. Exhaustible resources are unevenly distributed over the earth. Coal is not available all over the earth. It has concentrated in a parts of Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, and Bihar in India, and Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh also. Neither in a parts of Jammu, Kashmir, Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, in, not in such areas. So, exhaustible resources are unevenly distributed over the earth. Whereas inexhaustible resources are equally distributed over the earth. Inexhaustible resources are equally distributed over the earth. Clear? Fifth difference. Sixth difference. Exhaustible resources. Exhaustible resources are needs 
they needs the modification exhaustible resources are required the technology a processing to which we can utilize them into as the usable items means coal directly it can't utilize the burning of coal generates heat that heat has used by humans for a humans for generation of electricity clear crude oil has extract from the beneath the layers of earth crust to the crude oil we separate the petrol and diesel that petrol and diesel are used by the humans as a source of energy clear exhaustible resources are needs the processing afterwards it can be as a consume it can be consumed by the humans but the inexhaustible resources inexhaustible resources inexhaustible resources can utilize inexhaustible resources they can utilize by the humans utilize by the humans to satisfying their needs as well as they needs the processing they needs the processing humans breathing in air air is renewed recycled by the nature due to as a presence of a trees which are absorbs as a co2 and release the oxygen this is as the this is as a direct directly as a humans are absorbing they are utilizing the resource but there are a certain number of resources in inexhaustible which needs as a processing which needs the processing for example the internal heat of the earth humans can't use the internal heat of the earth to satisfy their needs they can use they can use the that geothermal energy by generation of electricity or cooking purposes in manikaran in himachal pradesh manikaran this is the place associated with the sikhism that place where the geothermal energy the internal heat of the earth has emits in the form of a geyser warm water geyser it has used for cooking of a food clear so certain number of inexhaustible resources needs some modification and certain not jab ji has asking that what are the types of the natural resources renewable and the non renewable both are the natural resources both are the natural resources renewable and the non renewable renewable and non renewable because these are the substances which are formed by the nature formed by nature when we are talking about the renewable sunlight is a natural resource sunlight is a natural resource wind water glaciers are the natural resources whereas a non renewable resources coal petroleum natural gas these are also the naturally occur naturally form clear so both are the natural resources but when we are use a natural substances to modify into the usable items is known as a man made resource man made resource clear so next seventh difference in between of exhaustible and inexhaustible resources exhaustible and inexhaustible exhaustible resources it needs as a plenty of a years a large number of the years are required for the for the formation of a exhaustible resources for this we have to save for the future exhaustible resources needs a plenty of the years a number of a years for its formation for this we have to save the exhaustible resources but whereas inexhaustible resources it has regularly renewed and recycled by the nature recycled by the nature which are available in abundance they are av available in abundance clear eighth difference exhaustible resources for example coal petroleum natural gas in exhaustible resources in exhaustible resources like as a sunlight water soil these are in exhaustible which has renewed and recycled by the nature clear these are the major classifications of the resources then next is the man made man made resources are the clear now the human resources human resources humans are also a resources can anybody explain why we call humans are the resources why we call humans are the resources why we call humans are the resources anybody jent khajuria 
why we call humans are the resource jent is a resource why we call jent is a resource because we can turn the uh, present number of resources into usable items very good humans use their skills humans use their skills to modify the natural substances into the usable items usable items but there is a one contradiction is there when we are talking about a human resource the population population available in a country so population has the two kinds of the characteristics some kind of population is the assets some are the liabilities burden some are the burden how can we as a make distinguish in between of assets and liabilities can anybody anybody want to explain what is as a difference as the humans are also the liability humans are also as a assets or we can say kritika kritika is also asset or a liability kritika are you consider yourself as a asset or a liability kritika yes kritika kritika okay jagjot singh jagjot singh are you consider yourself as a liability or a asset jagjot singh jabji said if the population a large number of a population will present it will use the all the resources and vanish it will finish the number of a resources number of resources means population is not good for the country jabji jabji according to you population is not constructive in a way for a country yes jabji maybe sorry repeat it sir it might be that population is not good for country jab the population is as so it is as generally considered as a productive for the country productive for the country because those when we are talking about the developed countries of the world us russia where the land area is a larger land area is a more but the population is not there their governments are preferred to movement of a people from a other areas towards their country towards their country they are needed it but in india where the population resource is available in abundance which has pressure over the natural resources pressure over a natural resources this is has a negative impact population it will be the asset asset means a positive in way it is as a resource population as resource in that state when it has produced goods and services when population has contributes in economy by the production of goods a farmer which has produced the crops a uh, industrialist which has manufactured the goods a uh, banker which is providing the service banker which is providing the service as the banking service or insurance teacher which is providing you the service lawyers doctors are providing as the services when a person has produced the goods and services clear goods means it has doing as a work in a economy in a country for production of a goods farmer produce the crops industries produce as the uh, minerals extract the minerals beneath the layers of earth crust or manufacture the goods vehicles then a person which has provide as a services when a person is able to produce goods or either services it is a productive for the country it is a asset it is a asset kritika and jagjot all the students all the individuals in our country which are now as attaining the education are our assets our resources why because presently you are not producing but in near in future you will productive for a country after completion of your degrees your professional degrees you will capable for a production either you will produce as a you will join your family business either you can open your source of self employment source either you will join as a service sector clear in all the forms you will contributes in a economy then you will consider as a resource you are the assets a human it will be as a liability in that state when a person has unable to contribute in economy 
unable to contribute in economy means the illiterate persons illiterate persons which are the uh, mentally not stable those individ individuals which are not mentally stable they are the liabilities burden they are the liabilities because they are neither producing in our economy that kind of population has reduced in the per capita income the average income of india clear so there is required that the, all the persons they have to contribute in economy by production of goods and services through which uh, through which the humans they will become as a resource clear they will become as a resource human will be, humans will become as a resource now the next last topic as the conservation of resources so most number of resources are limited in number we need to conserve them the conservation can be possible through the planning of resources we have to use the resources in judicious way through which the present needs for the satisfaction of a present needs we don't have to compromise with the future needs we don't have to compromise with the future needs jab ji jobless people are not the liability unhe job nahi mili hai clear a person is ready to work unable to find the jobs is known as unemployed par wo kaam karne ke liye ready hai if the jobs are adequate available in a country then the that will start to contribute in economy wo aise thi rahega if the job opportunities increase by the government then it will productive for the country wo liability nahi banega liability is only that person which is unable to contribute in economy contribute in economy for example there is a construction worker is there construction worker which has dependent on others it has dependent on others but it has not uh, finding the jobs this is as a liability the person which is not mentally stable how can it will contribute in economy with the production of goods and services it can't clear so for this as as you read as a health is what health indicates the physical mental social well being of an individual a person which is a healthy physically healthy socially sound and mentally stable then it can contribute in economy it is as the resource for a country clear so this was our chapter resources for the conservation we need the sustainable development